On this episode of BMNG Roadkill Projects, I teach you on how to make the worst drag car you could make. If you can't tell, I bent the frame. Alright everybody, welcome to this episode of BeamNG Roadkill Projects. We're back, and today, I want to try and make a drag car with a blower on it. Not a turbo, not a blower, or well, not a turbo, not a procharger, a blower. Because I don't have a drag car with a, with a supercharger on it anymore. The cop car, I wouldn't really consider that, and I don't really have something that's dedicated. And, well, seeing what Roadkill has done so in, so much in their recent episode with the Rubber Duck Firebird. We're going to make the Banana Boat Barstow. <laughs> At least that's what I'm going to attempt here. Very heavily influenced by that car because of how great it was. Barn Fine Car, of course, this one is not. This is not even a normal Barstow. This is an F2 Barstow, which is a part of the GTG Commons mod. You can get this over on the BMNG or website. And the reason why it's not a normal Barstow is because the whole entire chassis is not a unibody. The normal Barstow in this game is a unibody configuration with a front subframe. This is a frame on body. Specifically, a D-series frame. So, in the realms of going forward with this chassis, I am not as limited with rear suspension options if I want to go really, really fast with it. So, that's why I kind of chose this instead of a normal Barstow, because... Yeah, and also, I'm interested in the F2 platform, and I think, honestly, I could probably do something really cool with these. So as far as this car goes, this is a four-speed manual car with a 7.3 liter V8, or a 444 cubic inch V8. Don't know what the motor has to do with anything, I'm pretty sure as far as this car goes, it's pretty stock. And my guess it's run it's going to run a 13 or more in the quarter, so... Yeah, we're going to try this thing stock, then we're going to take it, put a big supercharger on it, and do a little bit of suspension work and see how much faster we can make it. And then I want to road trip it back, or tow it back <laughs> to California, and put the big block in it out of the off-road bar stow, because we've got rid of that car. And that big block I've had built up so it can handle a supercharger. So if we blow up the, blow up the car here, I'm completely okay with it because we're going to go and put a bigger motor in it. Just, I don't know if this motor is going to survive. It'd be really cool to road trip this thing all the way back, but I doubt that's going to work. So, As of in terms of this staying a manual it's probably not going to at least for this episode it will but probably the next time you see this car I would have more than likely swapped an auto into it also don't mind what's going on here I don't know what's going on with some of the textures on this car but open diff burnout let's go oh it, 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 it's getting both almost Ooh, and it wheels hot. It wheel hops bad. I wonder how bad it's gonna. There we go. Oh God. Alright. 
It at least went 100. I'm happy with that. So, let's see what it ran. And it'd be wonderful to get this thing to be like a 10 second car today. And then with the auto, probably get this thing into the nines. I don't have high intentions for this thing to be super, super fast, but if I ever want it to be, I'm not going to be limit cha limited chassis-wise. So, that's a good thing. I'm going to guess it ran in the 13s, though. If this thing ran a 12, that's really good for what we want to do, as long as it doesn't blow up. 13.8. Not bad. I'm happy with that. It could probably be a little faster. But. It's time to make the car gooder. And by that I mean really big tires and a supercharger and see how far we can push this engine. With a rev limiter as well. You know, let's back it up over here. Oh god, it's roasting the clutch. Is this a four speed? Yeah, then it's roasting the clutch. <laughs> Car might need an automatic by the end of this episode, honestly. Okay. So let's take the hood off. Actually, is there a bolt in street cage for this car? No, that would have been cool. Hood, hood, hood. There we go. Hood. We don't need it where we're going. Ooh, it's got strut bars. It's actually good news. Okay. Now, suspension-wise, before we go crazy with the blower, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the front coilovers, but the rear suspension... Probably gonna four link this one day, but well, first of all, it needs a limited slip, and to make it a good driver, a 308 would be pretty good in this. Five log, that's fine. Just a 15. Can I get a 15 by 14? Ooh, 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 hold on. Let's see how these look. That's a really big wheel. That needs to be pushed in a lot. Uh, I don't like those. Oh god, we're getting into 14 or 15 by 16s. Let's <laughs> not go that big. Look at the magnums. Oh, not a fan of those. I think the draggers are going to be the best way to go. And then. Yeah, these. And push this tire in. It is way out there. I think it needs negative. Can I push it in this far, honestly? That barely did anything. What about this way? That just pushes it out further. I'm not a fan of how much that pokes. That uh, this might have to go down to a fifteen by twelve. Which is more options. That's not a really big tire, though. That's the issue. 
Shit. I cannot get the look that I want out of this thing. It can have a way bigger tire than that. Trying to think of what I could do here. I should probably put disc brakes on it, honestly. Maybe that can try to sink the wheels in a little bit more. Uh, this is worrisome. What if I step it up? Let's see. can put whelps on it. I really don't want to put them on here. Seventeen by nine. That's a pretty big wheel. Here we go. That's really, really big. Oh, the hold on. That is it. <laughs> They do not fit the wheel. But a 15 by 6 would fit. Oh, it pisses me off that the tires don't fit the wheel. But a 15 by 8. That's just getting just too big. And yeah, that is just so big at this point that that is too ridiculous. <laughs> uh, shit. Fitting wheels into this is actually a lot harder than I was expecting. Let's see, can I put a 15 by 16? <sighs> I think I'm unfortunately going to be putting whelp wheels on this. Yeah. To even like fit this. That's what I need to do. I can poke a little bit more than that though. Alright, well. That was disappointing. Alright, well, before I go any further and make this video extremely long. Oh, it doesn't really have much done to it. Which one makes less boost? <laughs> Never mind. I want the big blower out the hood. Oh, boy. Oh, rev limiter. I should do that before I blow this up. Uh, it's at 6,000 already, so we'll just put that on it. Minimalistic. And it can get headers. Not worried about exhaust.
No two-step. Only 12 pounds of boost. Motor should be able to take that. Yeah, it's going to be able to take it. Alright, let me get exhaust front wheels on this thing and maybe work out a little bit of suspension. And we'll be right back. I'm... I'm disappointed in the look of this car. <laughs> the wheels look... Nothing like I was hoping for. Honestly, I can probably shove them out a little bit, maybe give it a bit more poke. Uh, let's put them back to normal. Yeah, they can poke out like that. It gives it a, like, that stance is okay, but from the front... Uh, I'm not too happy with it. As of how far this car is going to go with a supercharger on it, I don't know. I don't have two-step. I don't have a trans brake. I got none of that on this car. I'm beginning to regret doing this a lot. All right, let's see what it can do. It doesn't even want to do a burnout. <laughs> If it stands up on the bumper, I'm going to be really sad. Oh. Hmm. I actually think that that was probably slower than it was before. Eleven six. That did not feel like an eleven six. Ah, uh, car's cooling system's already failing though. That that's good. It feels like this thing won't drive straight. Let's see. No. Something suspension wise has to be bent. Interesting. Nothing looks off. Drive line is center. That clutch is not happy. Yeah. Let's try, since it is such a big tire, and no whatsoever, like, need, oh, can't put anything. Smaller. That is 
a little bit depressing, honestly. Okay. Uh... I wonder if I'll get two-step with this. I want two step on this car. I really do, but I don't think it's an option. Oh, that drive shaft is not happy. This might break the drive shaft. <laughs> I, I just need to see. Oh boy. That rear end ain't happy. <laughs> this clutch is fried already. This is to be the same force speed that goes in the fucking NASCAR because it does the exact same thing. Eleven thirty three. Very pathetic for a blown big block. I have some rethinking to do because this is sad. <laughs> All right, last pass of the night. Trying the smaller tire is. Oh, nothing look like, looks like it's about to explode. I hate how small the tire is in the back of the car. But... <sighs> I'm going to assume that it's going to break again, so... Or at least something's going to keep bending. Oh, boy. Back up a little further. And it is not happy with that. Yeah, something in the rear end just does not like launching with grip. <sighs> I don't think that was any faster than an 11.3. Low 11s. I am not happy with this car. <laughs> this thing is not living up to what I hope it would have. Alright, it is time for the Hail Mary with this car. 
It's got the 526 in it now. It's got a bigger blower. It's got a five-speed manual in it. It's got a three-link rear end in it with coilovers, smaller tires that are grippy, shrouded radiator. It's got a trans cooler, a better radiator. This is the Hail Mary with this thing. It should be way too fast, but... Yeah. I have conveniently positioned the ramp truck at the end of the uh, at least the end of the drag strip, so if this thing blows up, I can just try to roll it on. So I need to be ready with the clutch. Or this thing goes into the wall and the motor comes out and goes into the race car. It's going to be one or the other. I'm pretty sure this block is not going to take the big blower. Okay. That was not good. That thing landed back down hard. Didn't bend anything. Oh, uh, no. It bent the chassis. I can see by the fender right there. Wow. Wow. That was way... Yep, the door. The seam along the door there ain't even anymore. <laughs> yeah, it, it either bent this frame rail or it bent the frame rail back here, too. It's one or the other. It no longer sits even. Alright, let's go run it again. And pretty much put this motor out of its misery. Oh, did I, oh, I ruined the oil pan. Oh. Yeah, so this thing uh, has a pass left in it. Not even doing a burnout, it don't need it. <laughs> I'll have to try and pull it over a little bit, but, uh... Oh, no, no, don't start it back up. Save the motor. Because it can go in something cooler. Well, there you go, everybody. Oh, I, yeah, I ruined the bumper. Oh, well. Well, there you go, everybody. There is the... Failure at trying to make the rubber duck in this game. Will this car return? I don't know. I'm very disappointed with this car. <laughs> I couldn't get the look that I wanted. I couldn't get the wheels that I really wanted on the car. I couldn't really get the motor to the power level that I wanted. It was way overpowered with this one and way too underpowered with the other one. Yeah. Well, there you go. I don't know what I'm going to do next. If people have an idea of a blower car that doesn't involve using the 500 cubic inch big block. I know that's a 
reliable, good motor, but it's not as fun that way. I want to challenge myself with a blower car because it's always been a challenge, but hopefully you all have enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.